to this story now. Groundbreaking HIV cure trial conducted at the University of Guazulu Natal it's demonstrated some promising results in achieving antiretroviral therapy free virus control. We'll find out what that means in a moment. The HIV cure trial shows that 20% of trial participants remain uh, off ART and are virally suppressed after one and a half years. These results uh, provide insights towards the development of future HIV cure approaches. I'll speak to Professor uh, Tumbindungu now, who led this particular study. Prof, thanks for coming on this afternoon. When did the study begin? Uh, the study started about uh, two years ago. I, I believe it was a, uh, the preparation started in 2022. And what makes this particular uh, outcome uh, uh, promising towards HIV treatment? Well, I think this is a, a promising study because it's the first time, in, uh, at least here in Africa, where we are showing that a combination of uh, early antiretroviral treatment with immunotherapy, uh, followed by treatment interruption, can lead to uh, ART-free control of HIV. So this uh, offers some hope that we may be moving towards uh, an HIV cure where people can uh, live without antiretroviral therapy. As you know, at the moment, if somebody is living with HIV, they have to take antiretroviral therapy for the rest of their lives. Yeah. And that's a huge burden, both on the economic uh, side, but also uh, it's very difficult for people to take uh, uh, antiretroviral therapy every single day for the rest of their life. So what we are trying to do is to figure out an alternative to see whether people can control the virus without having to take antiretroviral therapy every single day. So the goal is ART-free virus control, or as you put it, antiretroviral therapy, a free virus control. Except, of course, for the cumbersome nature of having to take ARTs uh, all the time, uh, what are the other downsides of, of, of this continuous uh, uh, taking of, of, of this treatment? Well, antiretroviral therapy is, is, of course, very beneficial for people living with HIV uh, because it suppresses the virus, it prevents uh, onward transmission of the virus, and it preserves the immune uh, system. However, um, people do find it daunting to have to take antiretroviral therapy, and some people may experience uh, certain side effects uh, and toxicities associated with these uh, medications. And we really also don't know what the long-term impact of taking antiretroviral medication is. Uh, if somebody, if you can imagine a young uh, person living with HIV uh, who may have to take antiretroviral medication for 40 years uh, or even more, depending on their life expectancy. That's a huge burden. And of course, there is also the economic burden of taking these medications. So what we are trying to do is to say, uh, what we are saying is that, of course, antiretroviral therapy is very good and beneficial at the moment, but if we can find alternatives, including uh, antiretroviral free control or even a complete cure so that the virus is eliminated from the body, that would be a huge advantage for people living with HIV. Talk to us briefly about the journey that these four individuals would have taken in the 55 weeks of, of, of conducting the study. I would like to, first of all, uh, acknowledge and thank this, uh, all the participants who took part in this study. It's, it's not an easy study to be part of because, uh, uh, first of all, we always tell our patients or people living with HIV that they must take uh, antiretroviral therapy all the time. And so for somebody to agree to be in this kind of study where we are going to, we tell them that we are going to interrupt antiretroviral treatment, it's not easy. And the other thing is that once you are in this study, we have to monitor you very closely. Uh, we have to monitor you uh, on a weekly basis. So you have to come to the clinic every single week so that we can take blood samples, we can measure your viral load to make sure that uh, the virus is not rebounding. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's psychologically uh, difficult. And also it calls for a lot of sacrifice and so I would like to also thank the participants who were in this study because uh, they give their time. It's a lot of effort. It's a lot of, um, uh, uh, of their resources. And also, we had to take a lot of blood samples because we would like to study 
uh, what is going on uh, with the immune system in these individuals. So, so again, not easy to do, but uh, uh, we have some very uh, people who are very, very dedicated to this study, and we are very grateful for that because they move us towards uh, an HIV cure uh, for uh, an, an HIV cure in the future. Yeah. The results showed 30% of the participants were able to stay off HIV treatment for nearly a year and 20% uh, remained off treatment until the trial ended at 55 weeks. Even after the trial, uh, those four individuals are still being closely monitored and have uh, continued without medication uh, for over, what, 1.5, a year and a half now. Um, and, and what are you seeing then as far as their immune uh, system or even their viral load uh, is concerned? So, um, again, these individuals who are in our study, they had the option to go back to antiretroviral therapy as soon as uh, the, either the viral load rebounded or um, to go back on antiretroviral therapy once they finished uh, 48 weeks in the study. But these uh, four participants chose to remain off antiretroviral therapy because they are controlling the virus uh, without antiretroviral medication. And of course, the purpose of antiretroviral medication is to control the virus to undetectable uh, levels. So for the time being, these individuals are continuing to be monitored because we don't obviously know when the virus might rebound, and that's possible. There have been cases of people who control the virus for some uh, time and then the virus rebounded. So we continue to monitor them very closely. In terms of the lab investigations, we are doing a lot of work uh, to try and understand uh, what led to control in these four individuals, whereas the rest 16 did not control. Uh, we think that we have some hints in terms of what the immune system is doing in these individuals, but that is ongoing work and uh, hopefully we will be able to share the findings uh, when they become available. At the moment, we, we, we don't have the full picture, but we think that it is something to do with the immune system where we are inducing the immune system to be able to fight off the virus. Professor Ndungu, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much uh, for coming on, Professor Tumbindungu.